Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the second part of my JavaScript for beginners tutorial. And in this video, we are going to talk about JavaScript data types and variables. You can think of variables like a placeholder for different kinds of values or data types in programming. And there are basically five primitive data types in JavaScript, such as strings, numbers, booleans, which are basically true or false kinds of variables. There are also undefined and null as primitive data types. We are actually not using them that much. Sometimes when an error happens or any kinds of bug happens, we can use these two data types for error handling or catching some problems if there are any, but it's good to know. So let's declare our first variable with the let keyword. When we use this let keyword, this is a reserved keyword, by the way, after using the let keyword, whatever I write here will be our first variable. For example, let's say numbers and put a semicolon. So this tells to JavaScript that number is a variable. Now let's lock this to the console and let's see what it returns. When I save it, we get undefined back because we haven't assigned any value to the number. To assign a value to our variables, we need to use the equal character and let's give 10 for example now when i save it again this time we get 10 as a value back so you probably already know this equal sign from mathematics but this is a little bit different uh, in programming this is actually the assignment operator which means that the right hand side of this equal sign is a value which will be assigned to the left hand side of this equation for example if i do something like this it's not going to work because we cannot assign anything from left to right in programming. It should be always like this way. So that being said, now let's move on with the second data type, which are strings. Any kinds of characters or words or sentences are strings in programming. So let's declare another variable for that. Let's say let word and let's say hello world. Now, if I save this, I get an error back because this is not actually the way to declare strings in JavaScript. If you want to declare strings, you always need to put quotation marks, single or double quotation marks, and anything between will be taken as string data types in JavaScript. Let me also lock this to the console. And this time we get hello world back. Now, one of the things that beginners mistake is that what happens if I write here, for example, 10. And when I save it, we get two tens back, but this one is a number and the console marks it as green because it's a different data type. And this one is actually a string. It's, it's a number, but it will be taken as a string. So be careful not to confuse them. They are not the same. This is a number variable and this is still a string variable, even if you write a number inside it. Since this one is between the quotation marks, it will be still taken as a string. So be careful not to confuse them. Another important data types are booleans. So let me declare another variable here. Let's say is correct. And this time I am going to use true here. Let's also lock this to the console. And what we see here is that we get true back without any problems. And if you pay close attention, the let keyword and the true keyword are both marked with the same color because true, let, and either you use maybe false, they are all reserved keywords in JavaScript. So that's why you don't have to put quotation marks for true and false. And if you actually use quotation marks, then it will be marked as a string again. We actually use true and false variables for conditional statements or for checking if something is true or, or not. But I will make later another video for conditional statements. So these three data types are the most used data types in JavaScript, but there are also undefined and null. And as I mentioned before, if you leave a variable like without any assignment, assignment then it will get undefined back. However, I can also type here undefined. And if I save it, I will get again as undefined back. This is also a resort keyword, but we don't use it that much. We use it actually when we need to catch 
some errors or something like that. And there is also the null keyword. Null means actually empty. And when I save this, we get null back and it is not the same with zero. So zero is a number, but it's not null. So please don't confuse zero, null and undefined. And likewise, the undefined keyword, we also use null for catching errors or so. So you have learned that we use the let keyword for declaring variables, but there are actually two other keywords for declaring variables as well. And the first one is the var keyword. If you use var, you can also declare a variable. Let's assign one and let's also log this to console. And we get the value back. You might see the var keyword a lot if you are working with an older JavaScript project because this is actually an older keyword and it's not recommended to use this keyword, the var keyword anymore because it causes some important problems. One of them is that if we declare a variable, we shouldn't be allowed to redeclare the same variable with the same name again. But if I use, for example, the same name again, like variable and assign, let's say two with the same declaration name. And if I save this, then I get two back. But this is not good because I have exactly declared the same name, the same variable name twice. And this is one of the problems of the var keyword. But if I try this, for example, with the let keyword, let's say let number again and assign 20, this time, as you see, I get an error back because JavaScript shouldn't allow the redeclaration of the same variable. So that's why you shouldn't use the var keyword for declaring variables. The third and the last keyword is the const keyword for declaring variables. And we use the const keyword for constant variables. And when I assign, for example, a name, and let's also lock this to the console, I get John Doe back, but a const variable, a constant variable cannot be reassigned later. So later, for example, if I want, I can reassign our number variable later. I can come here and say, okay, I want to change it and let's make it 20. And when I save it, this time we get 20 back because even if I assigned 10 as a value first, later I have changed it to 20. So this variable, the number variable has a new value and now it is 20. But the same thing we cannot do with the constant variables. If I try to come here and let's say I want to change the name to John and save it, this time we get an error back because this variable has already been assigned and cannot be changed later. So if you are thinking of you might change a variable later, then you should use let instead of constant and then it will work again. But if you are thinking of creating a constant variable and it's not going to change later, then you should use the const keyword, which are basically now the two ways of declaring variables in JavaScript. We can also make mathematical operations with our variables, or we can do some string operations, which are being used a lot with JavaScript. And in the following video, I will show you how to do them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please hit the like button. And thank you for watching.